Hi there. Today we'll try to make uh, Hytera PD785G to be compatible on uh, TMS, the so short message services, with uh, Motorola radios via uh, Motorola repeater. There are a few incompatibilities between the, those two radios and mostly uh, Motorola will send a valid message to a uh, Hytera radio but the Hytera radio will have some problems to pass through the Motorola repeater uh, message to other Motorola radios. So we'll try to figure out how to program these radios to be compatible and to have a message system between them. So the first thing I will try to read a Motorola radio it's uh, DP4801. Let's read it and see what we have to check for everything to be all right. Okay, so we read the radio. We go for network settings and uh, here we have some important settings. Here, the maximum TX PDU size in bytes have to be 750. And this forward to PC has to be disabled. So these are, these are the must. Please check out the TMS port. It's 4007. This is the default port. And now let's go to the Hytera radio. Okay, I cheat a little. <laughs> I already read it. Let's check network. So be aware that the common air interface on Hytera, you have to put it 13 because Motorola adds one to the IP radios and uh, if we put 12 we'll have here 12 but if we go to Motorola we'll see that for a common air interface network when we put 12 the IP is 13. Let's check. 11, the IP, it's 12. Therefore, when you use a Hytera radio on a Motorola environment, you have to put the common air interface on Hytera to be 13. Okay, <clears throat> so here we have to put the TMS port manually 4007 because it is 3004. The default port is 3004 for a Hytera radio. So we have to put here 4007 like in Motorola radios. Well, I just play with telemetry port and RRS port, which is similar to ARS port from Motorola. The GPS port, of course, is the same. Then we have to check the digital common basic settings. Go to miscellaneous and check that the data bearer service is not Hytera defined radio. This is the default and we have to put compressed IP. One last thing. In uh, the Moto Turbo customer programming software, uh, you have to check if uh, the message compatibility is with the DMR standard. You check this going in uh, the channels, you're going on the channel settings, and check if you have compressed UDP data header set to DMR standard, and also you have to check that text message type it's not proprietary, uh, but DMR standard. 
So, that's all. If you have these uh, settings, you'll be able to send and receive messages from uh, Hytera radios via a Moto Turbo Mark DMR repeater. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye, 73.